everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Ginormosaur Paleontologists in Portugal recently discovered what they've described as a ginormous Jurassic fossil. It could prove to be the biggest dinosaur ever unearthed in Europe. However, researchers are still struggling to identify this species. They don't know exactly what kind of dinosaur it was. All they know for certain is that it was a type of sauropod. So far, scientists have excavated the rib cage, and it is truly gigantic. It's big enough to use as the hull of a boat. It belonged to a long-necked herbivore dinosaur, perhaps a brachiosaurid, that lived roughly 150 million years ago. And although they have yet to determine the species, the fossil is already breaking records. The shocking discovery was made in 2017, and investigations are still ongoing. It all happened when a landowner in Portugal noticed some fossilized bones in his yard. He told the local authorities, who called in all the right people. Francisco Ortega from a university in Madrid says the team found some preserved vertebrae and a few pieces of the ribs first, but since then, they've dug up a fully intact rib cage. This allowed them to guess the dinosaur's size with a fair amount of accuracy. And yes, it was enormous. They believe the dinosaur weighed roughly 48 tons, more than an average humpback whale. The beast also stood 40 feet tall and stretched an unbelievable 82 feet. That's from the tip of its nose to the tip of its tail. Ortega says this could be a new type of sauropod, the largest one to ever roam Europe. Number 9. The Giant Ant The Titanomerma, whose name literally translates to Titan, was a giant ant that would have seriously ruined a picnic. The most recent specimens were uncovered in 2011. A fossilized queen was discovered almost perfectly preserved from 49.5 million years ago. To give you an idea of how monstrous these ants were, the queen was about the size of a hummingbird. Hummingbirds obviously aren't gigantic, but they are dozens of times larger than modern ants. Just imagine an army of Titanomerma descending on your lunch in the park, each one the size of a bird and ready to bite. The most recent fossil was found in Wyoming, marking the first example of a giant ant in North America. But an older fossil was found too from a different species called T. gigantea, which was an even bigger extinct species of giant ant. The only good news is that the Titanomerma lacked any kind of stinging mechanism. If by some horrible miracle these things made a comeback, they wouldn't physically be able to sting you like normal ants. However, researchers think they could spray formic acid in self-defense. They couldn't sting, but they could spray you with dangerous acid. And of course, they could bite. Number 8. Carcharodontosaurus Out of all the giant meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived, Carcharodontosaurus may have been the most terrifying. This gigantic theropod, meaning an animal that walked on two legs, roamed across northern Africa 90 million years ago. It was way bigger than the more famous Tyrannosaurus rex, and one of the biggest predators to ever evolve on this planet. Some even refer to it as the African T-Rex, even though the two dinosaurs aren't remotely related. The Carcharodontosaurus lived during the Cretaceous period for a span of about 7 million years. It's almost unbelievable how colossal the beast was. The dinosaur had humongous teeth, serrated like steak knives, and about 8 inches long each. The monster's name translates to shark tooth lizard in Latin. It also had very large nostrils, with a huge hollow space above its nose to reduce the weight of its massive skull. Based on fossilized evidence, the length of the dinosaur was around 43.5 feet. It was 12 feet at the hip weighing over 15 tons. Its skull alone was almost 5 feet long. Scientists believe its enormous stature was a result of evolution pushing the dinosaur to become larger and more formidable than its competitors. As dinosaurs kept getting bigger and bigger, it became the survival of the largest. The dinosaur with the biggest bite won territorial battles over everything from prey to mating rights. The Carcharodontosaurus had 32 teeth in its massive jaws, although its bite was relatively weak. It could only crunch down with around 3,000 psi, wimpy compared to the T-Rex's incredible 12,800 psi. Even the Spinosaurus had a stronger bite at 4,200 psi. 
Why do you think its bite was weak despite the dinosaur being so large? Let me know in the comments. And now for number seven. But first, it's shout out time. I want to say a big thank you to Kyle Brown, who is a longtime subscriber. Thanks so much for the super thanks. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join us. Number seven, Argentavis. Argentavis is Greek for Argentina bird. This flying monster ruled the skies of South America six million years ago and would have been a terrifying sight to see. With a wingspan of 23 feet and a maximum weight of around 200 pounds, this was a bird that could easily pick up a full-grown person. It had an enormous wingspan, long legs, and powerful feet. Modern eagles can fly away with small cats and dogs, but the Argentavis could have snatched much larger prey to take back to its nest to feed its babies. To put things into perspective regarding the immense size of the Argentavis, we have to look at the Andean condor. It is one of the largest flying birds living today and has a wingspan of only 9 feet. It also only weighs 25 pounds. That's one-eighth the size of the Argentavis. But believe it or not, the Argentavis was not the top bird of the Miocene era in South America. Six million years ago, terror birds still ruled the ground. Flightless birds were the closest thing we had to meat-eating dinosaurs following the mass extinction event 65 million years ago. The Argentavis had to keep its distance from the terrestrial birds and likely scavenge their meals whenever possible. The Argentavis was an oversized hyena prowling the skies. Or, more accurately, a gigantic vulture. Scientists aren't sure if the Argentavis was an active predator or just a scavenger. All we know is that it was huge and likely flew like a pterosaur by unfurling its wings to catch high-altitude currents. Number 6. The Lurking Predator the age of fishes started about 375 million years ago. This was an age in which prehistoric fish ruled the world. It was long before dinosaurs evolved, long before the rise of mammals when the predominant predators lived in the water. In the age of fishes, marine creatures diversified into thousands of different species. One of the scariest was a creature about six feet long, with beady eyes, a gnarly smile, and huge fangs. It was a lurking predator, hunting at the bottoms of rivers and other busy waterways throughout North America. Or rather, throughout the land that would millions of years later become North America. The fish is called Lacognathus embryae identified by the fossils of 22 individuals. It took 10 years of field work for scientists on the remote Ellesmere Island to complete a detailed analysis of the fish and its life. They say it hunted using minimal energy. It lay motionless in the gloom at the bottom of the river, waiting until something yummy swam close. Then it bit down with its powerful jaws. It was an ambush predator, living at a time before vertebrates ever crawled on the land. Its prehistoric cousins were only just starting to flop onto the shore. Nothing had even developed legs yet. Edward Deschler from the Academy of Natural Sciences said he wouldn't want to be wading or swimming anywhere this animal lurked. He said the fish is a great example of just how vicious and violent the marine ecosystem was before the evolution of land animals. What do you think? Do you think the ocean is just as scary today as it was millions of years ago? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. Flesh-Eating Fish Scientists recently uncovered the fossilized remains of one of the most terrifying species of fish that ever existed. The fossils were found in South Germany and belonged to a piranha-like fish who lived 150 million years ago. Researchers say it's the earliest evidence of a fish that consumed flesh for sustenance. Creepy, right? The prehistoric piranha wannabe had razor-sharp teeth in its jaws, which it used to rip apart the flesh of other fish and bite off their fins. To add chaos to the discovery, paleontologists found the remains of other fish that were mangled around the piranhas. Dr. David Bellwood from James Cook University said the team discovered fish with pieces missing from them, suggesting they were being eaten alive. 
The predatory fish may have been biting small chunks out of their victim's fins to feed for longer. Instead of outright killing their prey, they just took small bites to prolong the meal. The fish likely belongs to a group known as the Pycnodontids, who famously have teeth designed for crushing. This came as a bit of a surprise, because scientists compared it to finding a sheep with the mouth of a wolf. Plus, it came from the Jurassic period, a point in time when bony fishes simply didn't eat other fish. This is now the earliest fish predator that we know of. Number 4. Pegomastax africanus The Pegomastax africanus was by far one of the creepiest and most terrifying of all the plant-eating dinosaurs. The freaky creature was discovered in South Africa, where it thrived in the Lower Jurassic between 200 and 190 million years ago. The reason the Pegomastax was so terrifying is that it was incredibly ugly. It had a short beak, kind of like that of a parrot, but it also had teeth. Imagine a parrot with the canines of a German Shepherd dog. It would be an extremely painful bite, that's for sure. But according to scientists, the Pegomastax only liked biting plants. It used its stabbing canines to rip apart plant matter and crushed the pieces with its beak. Most dinosaur herbivores weren't scary. They were big and menacing, but they weren't terrifying in the way the Pegomastax was. Not only did it have a bizarre mouth with teeth and a beak, but it also had the body of a miniature raptor. It scampered around on two legs, had a pair of stubby arms, and was covered in gross, scruffy hairs. It also wasn't very large, only about the size of a house cat at two feet long. This thing moved stealthily through the forest scrublands of prehistoric Earth like a gremlin. But why did this thing even exist? Scientists have never been able to explain why an animal that only ate plants developed such a ferocious mouth. The best explanation anyone has come up with is that it used its teeth as defensive tools. It could have needed them to spar with other males when it came to mating season. It also might have used its teeth for plucking fruit from the trees. What do you think? Overkill? Let me know in the comments below! Number 3. The Mastodon When it comes to prehistoric mammals in North America, the woolly mammoth gets all the attention. But there is one creature that was far more terrifying than the mammoth, and something you wouldn't want to meet face to face. I'm talking about the mighty Mastodon. The Mastodon, or Mammut Americanus, was a gigantic mammal that lived in the United States between 3 million and as recent as 11,000 years ago. We have quite a few fossilized remains of mastodons, so scientists know a lot about them. They stood about 10 feet tall at the shoulder, had tusks that were 16 feet long, and were shockingly similar to modern elephants. But they weren't cute and cuddly like modern elephants. The mastodon was hairy, it had monstrous tusks, and it was lower to the ground. It didn't lumber around on tall legs, but had short, powerful legs. Its skull was also longer than most elephants and it had a bizarre hump on its back. The mastodon was, at the end of the day, very much like an elephant and a woolly mammoth. And yet, it was neither. Its hair wasn't as thick as that of a woolly mammoth, and its teeth were even different from that of an elephant's teeth. It was a squat beast that would have crushed a person with one stomp, or impaled them on its ridiculously long tusks. Number 2. The Tentacle Monster 520 million years before today, there was a horrifying monster that prowled the seas. It had 18 mouth tentacles, making it look like a bizarre mixture between a jellyfish and an alien from a sci-fi movie. Scientists say the new discovery of this monster could help solve the origins of the comb jelly, a bizarre and gelatinous carnivore. Scientists named the tentacle monster Daihua Sanchong. They say it lived in China and shared a lot of anatomical features with the modern comb jelly. The newfound species could be the jellyfish's ancient relative. But according to paleobiologist Jacob Vinther from Bristol University, knowing its history doesn't make it any less weird. Each of the creature's tentacles was like a fine and feathery branch covered in small ciliary hairs. The hairs worked to catch the attention of fish, which would swim close enough to be captured by the arms. In the center of the 18 droopy appendages was a gaping mouth, which the prey would probably be shoveled into. Number 1. Megalosaurus 
Megalosaurus was a predator of the highest caliber that lived in England during the Jurassic period. Scientists have known about this monster since the 1700s when its bones were first found. Since it was one of the earliest prehistoric beasts to be analyzed and reconstructed, it's taken a lot of forms over the years. In the 1850s, early paleontologists believed the Megalosaurus was more like a crocodile mixed with a rhinoceros. Partial remains were reconstructed into a lizard-like bear and put on display at Crystal Palace Park. This reconstruction was terribly wrong. Around 1900, scientists realized it wasn't stomping around on four legs, but was an upright walking theropod. Science has come a long way since then. We now know how truly scary the Megalosaurus was. Megalosaurus was one of the biggest predatory dinosaurs of its age in Europe. It overshadowed many other creatures at a whopping 27 feet long. It could have chomped a human in half without even pausing to consider. Scientists think it was a coastal dinosaur. The Megalosaurus lived a life of luxury on prehistoric beaches. It likely scavenged washed up bodies and feasted on fish stuck in tidal pools. Scientists have called it a beachcomber and say it was a lot lazier than other dinosaurs that hunted inland. The Megalosaurus preferred snacking on whatever it could catch in shallow water and having its dinner brought in on the tide. Thanks for watching! Which of these scary prehistoric monsters would you be the most afraid of in real life? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!